Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Bed Surgery at Teach. So today we will be discussing a case report on lingual laceration and avulsion. Okay. So the topic is lingual laceration and avulsion. It means the avulsion of tongue and lacerated wound. I will discuss what was the case. Okay. Before going to the case, you can subscribe to this channel. There will be subscribe button down in there. And you can also follow me in Facebook on the same name, Bed Surgery at Ease. And also in Instagram, Bed Essentials, there you will find different notes with the classes which I am taking. Usually I post notes there. Okay. And this is my Twitter handle. Now coming to our case. This was the case. Okay. You can see here the lacerated wound and the avulsion of tongue. The uh, exact figure, let me draw it for you. The tongue is like this, okay. But in this case, what happened? Here there was a piece, and this piece here, this piece was lost, okay. This piece was attached on the ventral side, it was attached, and the key case was presented 48 hours after the incident, okay. Uh, in village area, usually they are not presented to the veterinary dispensary, the doctor has to go to the doorstep. So, it was presented after 48 hours and you can see the clear cut, there is highly necrotic tissues, here you can see there are many necrotic tissues, you can see these black uh, uh, things which are basically not, uh, basically the necrotic tissues and you can see highly inflamed. You see inflammation, I already taught you regarding the inflammation, the wound healing stage. There are four stages, stage 1, 2, 3 and 4, first one is known as hemostasis, second one is known as stage of inflammation, third known as proliferation and uh, the fibroplasia and the fourth one is basically the wound healing, final stage the, where the scar tissue will be formed. So, this is in second stage, okay, first one is the hemostasis which will be happened in day 0. Day 0 itself there will be hemostasis and the, the stage 2 takes nearly about 3 on 3rd day up to 7th day is stage 3 and up to 10th day there will be healing. But it, the, the duration vary depending on the nature and the degree of wound. But here you can see the clearly caught inflammation of this tissue. You see highly inflamed. Uh, in picture this segment looks very weak but actually it is very small uh, piece which is basically inflamed okay so next the decision what i will do you see in surgery while uh, after checking out the preliminary examination after doing the preliminary examination you have to dis, uh, decide what you have to do and in surgery you have to do it in stepwise manner okay first i will go for the sedation because you can't do strong operation on local anesthesia in a large animal like 400 kg body weight cow so first one is sedation sorry First, I went for sedation. Sedation, I used xylazine. Okay, I won't tell the dose rate actually because you know there is every chance of quackery, so I avoid the dose rate. But you can find the dose rate in books. And also, I went for local anesthesia of the tongue, uh, the line anesthesia. I will tell how the anesthesia was given. Next, I, I will de I decided I will go for debridement. Of course, uh, if you want. Uh, remove the dead and necrotic tissues, the healing will be much delayed. Uh, I have already made a video in uh, delayed wound healing. There is a factor, okay, if the proper debridement will not be done, then it will take longer duration to heal. Next, the most important one is suturing, okay. Suturing, uh, suturing contains the suture and the suture pattern. First one, let us discuss about suture. I have the availability of here, I had chromic cat gut or chromic gut and the polygactin 910 okay you see chromic gut is a very cheap suture it, uh, it can be affordable by many farmers but see this is a tongue surgery okay it is uh, the tongue is all prehensile organ prehensile organ you know in ruminants the tongue is prehensile organ it is used for prehensing okay the uh, straws or the grass they usually grasp by the tongue and the animal will eat so it is continuously uh, uh, it is continuously exposed to trauma the straws that can cause trauma to the tongue okay so 
द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नॉट सिक्यूरिटी इन क्रोमिंग गट इज वेरी वेरी मिनिमम वन्स इट इज वेट एंड यू नो इन ओवरऑल कैविट इज ऑलवेज वेट बिकॉज ऑफ सलाइवा प्रोडक्शन सो इफ इन द क्रोमिंग गट इज वेट देन द स्ट्रेंथ इज गोन वाइल द पॉलिलेक्टिन हैज ए मॉडरेट नॉट सिक्यूरिटी टिश्यू रिएक्शन यू सी क्रोमी कैटगट कॉजेस मैक्सिमम टिश्यू रिएक्शन व्हाई क्रोमी कैटगट इज ए नेचुरल ऑब्जर्वेबल सूचर व्हिच इज ऑब्जर्वड बाय फागोसाइटोसिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू इन द सूचर चैप्टर द बायोमेटेरियल चैप्टर फागोसाइटोसिस व्हाइल पॉलीग्लाइको पॉलीग्लाइटिन 910 इज ए सिंथेटिक ऑब्जर्वेबल सूचर व्हिच इज ऑब्जर्वड बाय हाइड्रोलाइसिस ओके ड्यू टू दि फागोसाइटोसिस नेचर इट कजेस मैक्सीम टीस्यू रिएक्शन आई वी डोट वांट दैट सो वी गो वांट फॉर वी शुड गो फॉर द पॉलीलैक्टिन नाइन हंड्रेड व्हिच हैज वेरी लेस टीस्यू रिएक्शन अनादर द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इज द थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ इज गन आफ्टर वन वीक इन केस ऑफ क्रोमिंग आउट वाइल इट मेन्टेन्स इट्स स्ट्रेंथ द थर्टी परसेंट स्ट्रेंथ अफ टू टू वीक्स व्हिच इज आइडियल फर ओंड हिलिंग ओके सो आई चोज पॉलीलैक्टिन 910 as the suture material for the suturing of the lacerated tongue next the next important one is suture pattern see in this is tongue okay don't go with the drawings so the blood vessels usually traverse like this okay so there is a suture the tension suture you need tension suture here and can you tell me which tension sutures should i go for the tension sutures i have to mattress sutures mattress sutures are very good tension sutures mattress and mattress has to the horizontal one and the vertical one if i will place you can you see here the cut is like here okay this small fragment is not there see okay this small fragment is not there if i go for horizontal mattress like this see it is blocking the blood vessels okay so it may cause area necrosis if i go for vertical mattress which is like this this is parallel to the blood vessels and it will cause minimum necrosis okay so i chose the vertical mattress with small interrupted suture in between okay for the good apposition okay so vertical mattress with a simple interrupted i chose this suture pattern over the horizontal mattress because the horizontal mattress will block the blood circulation after that i thought of reconstruction what is reconstruction you see i will i decided to suture this one and i will oppose this one these two i will like oppose like this so there will be a pointed tip okay just like the tongue it will look just like the, in the next slide you will see how it was done so i decided to approach this one by horizontal mattress now next the surgery you see here the debridement here i am doing the debridement okay removal of the dead and necrotic tissue how will you know the you have done a good debridement debride up to that extent when we will find some bleeding okay necrotic tissue doesn't have any bleeding when all the necrotic tissue will be gone there will be fresh tissue and fresh tissue bleeds okay so debride up to that extent when you will find bleeding that doesn't mean you will cut an artery and there will be oh there is bleeding no not like that you have to do there will be capillary bleeding now here see the reconstruction surgery okay there was a gap here okay i have sutured this one and there was a gap here i am suturing this gap to make a tip here you see the final reconstruction you see this one i have sutured and here there is a part which is lost that is abulsion and i sutured this one okay so that there will be somewhat like tongue okay this is not exactly like tongue but somewhat it will have a tip and it will have normal prehension so this was surgery done and the surgery video is also available in the youtube channel you can check that video okay i will give the link next the most important one is post operative management okay because oral lesions you see the advantage of oral lesion is it heals very very fast if you are giving a very good uh, post operative care it will heal much faster you see for wound healing you need a moist and warm environment and the oral cavity is ideal 
you have saliva which keeps the wound moist and it is warm moist and warm and warm. also the saliva has lysozymes which is antibacterial so this gives a very good medium for wound healing if properly taken care of so i gave systemic antibiotics you see i won't discuss which antibiotic uh, but uh, the dose rate i won't discuss i gave septaxon solvactam and systemic anti inflammatory i uh, i gave ketoprofen two days only okay usually if you will give more uh, painkillers the appetite will be lost okay so give minimum nsaids especially nsaids the systemic anti inflammatory i used ketoprofen this is septaxon and plus solvactam and i gave glycerin chloramphenicol wash for mouth washing washing of that tongue this i made bid twice a day these two sid single shot for uh, 24 hours reconstruction uh, restriction in roughage intake i told the owner to avoid eating the straw and grass you see you can't completely uh, uh, abolish or you can completely restrict from the eating roughage and uh, grass um, uh, because you see ruminants they need to fill up the stomach okay if they want to be filled up then it is causes stress so you have to give some amount of uh, roughages like straw or grass so what i told the owner you chop the straws and the grasses and in small forms so that the animal won't have to ruminate okay in odia it pakuli beshi koriban so it won't ruminate uh, much so that there will be minimum uh, injury or minimum uh, uh, problem to the sutures we have which we ha- i have put okay so restriction in roughage intake is very very important especially in case of ruminants while doing the oral cavity surgery okay next i also gave multivitamins the multivitamins are very very essential while doing surgery it reduces the stress also it reduces the antibiotic stress okay so you have to give multivitamins it may be in oral form or injectable form i preferred the injectable form for first two to three days then i went for the oral form okay so this was Uh, post operative management next i uh, this is the healing photo see here one thing see healing is of four types wound healing i have already taught you in principle of surgery healing is of four types primary secondary then tertiary or third intention first intention second intention third intention and the mixed okay mixed intention you see here there are two type of healing you can see here you see this this person has been nice healed you can you identify any scar tissue there in, isn't any scar tissue but here you see this person which i have opposed to give it like a tongue tip which i have rest, uh, i had reconstructed you can see there is a sorry there is scar tissue clear cut there is a small gap and you can see more scar tissue okay so this person has healed by primary intention primary intention is also known as uh, healing under a suture and you see this person this person has a wide gap that is high scar tissue person okay this has healed in secondary intention okay there is granulation there will be some gap so granulation then after that scar formation so the entire pro- thing is known as mixed intention healing okay in examination many a time uh, for students uh, many a times the mixed intention and the third intention usually confused third intention is it should have healed in second intention but you did suturing and which healed by primary intention that is not third intention mixed intention is you have already done suturing i which i did i already did all the suturing but a portion of suturing has been disrupted which in Uh, which healed by secondary intention while the other person is healed by primary intention this is known as mixed intention healing okay so you can see the clear cut healing okay but there is some scar tissue but it is not a big, much of a problem now see the video you can see the video animal will be eating you can see the uh, prehensile nature you see the he, animal is taking the grass by hot trunk this uh, this cow was under surgery not this one okay so this is basically the prehension okay so the uh, resumption of prehension is a happy moment for me definitely for me and the best moment was after 20 days the photograph was taken after 20 days 
So after 20 days, the owner came to me and he brought some fruits and told I am a farmer, I can't give you much but I can give you some fruits. That was satisfactory. Okay, so if you are dealing with poor farmers, you will know that this is very, very satisfactory. I didn't charge for the polygatti 900, which was really costly but it's okay. The animal is now completely fine and giving 10 liters of milk. So this is all about today. We will meet in next case report or next lecture class whatever. Till then see you tata bye bye.